What is up everyone? This is Mo Tutorials here and today I'm going to show you how to fix the error run DLL error that you may be seeing on your Windows 10 device. So let's get right into this. So the first thing is you want to open up a Windows uh, folder like this in PC and the first thing I actually want you to do is I want you to click on view and I want you to press the button that says hidden items. We want to actually see these hidden items because this is going to be the next step and when we are about to do. So once you're in here, you want to click into local disks and in local disk, you want to go all the way to the bottom and find something called users. In here, find whatever user is applicable to you that you're basically having this error on. So most likely it's the username that you're logged into. Now, this is where the hidden items come into play. We are going to go into something called app data. And if you look closely, it's like hollow transparent because these are hidden items. They're not meant to be seen per se by a normal user other than someone who actually knows what they're doing. So in here, we're going to go in here, we're going to press local. So the next component is local. And in here, we're going to basically type in temp or T and find the folder called temp. Now, this is the basically the place that is causing these errors to happen. So you can press control A to basically select everything. So you'll see everything get selected. And you're basically going to press delete. It's going to ask for probably permission to like uh, delete it for these items and you can just say yes continue and you're going to see it's going to start deleting these items some of them will not get deleted because they're probably being used because this is probably like camtasia so it's okay you can just say skip for the ones that aren't being used which is perfectly fine because these are temporary files they're not meant to be used for anything so you can easily just kind of like delete them out clean up the cache per se and like clean up the space and then this error should go away and it should not be persisting any longer. So yeah, that's basically a very quick video, very quick tutorial on how to remove this, and you should be good to go. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. If you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button, helps a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. On that, Mo Tutorials out.